Okay, so here we go. Nice. Yep, watch those hands. Almost, good effort. Let's go again. Pretty good. Okay, good. So let's talk about it again. So the reason why those straight balls coming down this line, the reason why they're coming across to the leg side is if your hands come behind your back hip here in your back lift, right, as you come down to hit the ball, you have to get around that back hip and you invariably come across the line a little bit there, right? So when we take our hands back in our back lift, we never really want to go behind our back shoulder. We want to try and get a straight access here so your left hand stays close to your hip. And now, if you step to the ball, you've got a straight plane where your back can go down through the line of the ball and stay on the line. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Alternatively, if you go here, the problem is, see where you have to come around your body and you end up coming across a little bit. Does that make sense? Okay. So we want to go left hip, uh, left hand to right hip in that sort of position. Yep. Now you just access the ball with your shoulder and foot and head and chin towards the line. Now look, you've got a straight plane here where you can access the ball, lead with that elbow, access the ball like so, you've got a straight plane, that's right. So then you should be able to hit those straighter balls in a straight fashion, or at least access them. If you come from behind your hip and you come around the ball here, you're talented. You're most often going to probably hit the ball, but because you're coming off the line a little bit, there's more risk. If you get your timing wrong, you may miss it. And if it's straight, you're going to get out bowled or LB. Okay? So the answer is get those hands in tight here. Now you can access any ball with your shoulder and head and foot position, whether it's there. Yep, not bad. Keep those hands, leave with the elbow. If it's over here, you can now access there. That's it. Watch the bat face. Make sure it's full face. That's it. And if you want to go like the on drive here or the flick, you still access here. And now look, you've got a straight, careful, leave with the elbow. That's it, through the line. That's it. That's it. But we've got to get those hands in your back lift, that's right. You never really want to go behind your back shoulder. Okay. Good girl. Okay, let's go again. I'll throw you a couple of straight ones. Keep picking up the bat with your left hand. Often it's the right hand that pulls us behind our back hip. So try and be more dominant in your back lift by dropping your front shoulder and picking up the bat with your left hand dominantly more than pulling with your right hand in your back lift. Does that make sense? Okay, good girl. Here we go again. Good girl. Better, good girl, good girl Zoe, again. Yes, better, that's better, your back lift was better, good girl. Here we go. Yes Zoe, awesome girl, well done.